What's good, everyone? Giant Opinions, breaking MLB news. The Detroit Tigers have signed Jack Flaherty, starting pitcher, for a one-year, $14 million deal. Jack Flaherty, he got traded to the Orioles at the trade deadline last season. Didn't do too well at all, but he pitched in one playoff game, seven innings, I believe, with only one run given up. So that was pretty impressive. But the story with Jack Flaherty, it's two things. Number one, control. Jack Flaherty has amazing stuff, like great pitches. They're, they're, they're wicked. They're filthy. But his command of the strike zone is not there. It is extremely inconsistent. And it's why you see his ERA that high, even though Flaherty tends to give up less hits than innings pitched. It's, the reason he struggles is because he lacks command of the zone. He'll either hang pitches in the plate or he'll just completely miss and like walk a batter on four pitches. So the hope for the Tigers is that they can fix his command issues, which have been present for a while. Um, the second story with Jack Flaherty, though, it's his injury history. He, he has been injured a lot in the last few years. And availability might be the best ability. So if you're paying a pitcher $14 million, you want him to be able to play for a lot of games. And with Jack Flaherty, I mean, the realistic goal is that he starts 25 or more games based on his previous injury history. That's definitely a factor of concern. But the reason why I think this contract is so high is because the Tigers, they kind of have to pay a bad team tax. The Tigers, they haven't really done much lately. They're a struggling franchise. They're they're moving or they're making progress in their rebuild, right? And they went ahead. They added Kenta Maeda to their rotation too. They obviously have Matt Manning, hopefully Casey Mize, num former number one overall pick in that rotation too. And now they're adding Jack Flaherty. He's kind of the veteran guy alongside Maeda to hopefully guide and not. I don't want to say mentor, but hopefully teach uh, those two young pitchers that I mentioned earlier. Jack Flaherty, his playoff experience with the Cardinals too and with the Orioles this past season. So, you know, if the Tigers do make the dance for the playoffs, then I think that could be extremely valuable, his playoff experience. But the question is, will he even be available if that scenario were to happen? But A.J. Hinch, he, I mean, he was known in Houston for assembling a pretty good rotation and working with pitching. So obviously A.J. Hinch and the pitching staff in Detroit they see something that they can work with in Jack Flaherty. And he's got really good stuff, man. He's great stuff. He can strike out a lot of batters. But the two problems, injury history slash durability, and two, command of the strike zone and giving up too many walks. So what would I grade this signing? I'm going to grade it a C plus. The reason why I think $14 million is way too high for Jack Flaherty. Now, it is only a one-year deal. So you could play devil's advocate, be like, it's only one year, so it's, it's not a bad contract. But you could also say, well... If it doesn't work out, you just donated $14 million, um, and he's just going to walk away. So what impact did he really make? Um, so that's my honest reaction and opinion on this. I'd love to hear your thoughts, especially Tigers fans. Let me know what you think of this, though. There's potential there for sure. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.